Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here, and today I've got another short little unboxing video to share with you guys. You guys might remember a video where I, I unboxed actually the Reich Cybertrix, and I said there was another box in there. Um, this is that box. Uh, so I, I honestly can't remember what the other knife was that they sent me, uh, but we're about to find out together. Thanks so much to Reich for sending this in. Thanks to my patrons for supporting me, and please, Make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If this is something I can link, I will absolutely link it right down in the description so you guys can check it out. It does help my channel when you use those links, but that's entirely up to you. All right, we got to come into the side here. Reich has been, uh, it's like, you know, the, the entire knife world has been going down a, a fairly similar path, well, only with, with just subtle variation. And at some point, Reich took a hard left turn. And they were like, you know what? We're just going to, like, strictly do weird stuff. And um, a bunch of things for a while have been insanely impressive. Um, so I don't know what what we're about to get into here. Maybe it, maybe it's the total opposite of what I just described. But there's no, uh, there's, it didn't, there's no labeling anywhere. It doesn't say, like on the Cybertrix box, it said Cybertrix on the outside. So I'm not really sure what we're getting into here. Um, here's a bunch of information and a little thing you can scan if you want to do that. That's fine. It's, uh, definitely, definitely another kind of weird, ultra futuristic looking knife, but in a completely different way, as far as I can tell, from the Cybertrix. Let's take a moment to look over the frame of this. God dang. The way that they mill this is just freaking wild, man. <laughs> S90V, okay, great. Um, uh, it's got little levers and releases and things. It makes me think, what is going on with a pocket clip? Is this tip down? What is this called? Rebel ship. <laughs> I mean... It kind of does. That's kind of what it looks like. How does it flip? God, look at this area right here. Oh my goodness. They really got busy with the aesthetic here. Look at this. I, man, I feel like if I push a button on this, the whole thing is going to spring out. It's just going to be... Okay. <laughs> oh man. Some people don't like this aesthetic and some people like the aesthetic and you know say whatever you're compelled to say boy the action is crazy say whatever you're compelled to say the thing is my brain doesn't go when i see stuff like this my brain doesn't immediately go to do i like how it looks or not like how it looks my brain goes to holy crap the machining on this is so unbelievably complex um we really don't see stuff like that you know a lot of people are gonna say oh you know we does stuff like that or other not really though not not really to this level this this really is wild and different i just don't understand what is going on here i can't tell if they're like trying to point out that some of these are releases i mean this has to be the reason that I think that uh, is, well, I mean, I, I know that this has some sort of weird uh, disassembly because if you've noticed, there are no screws anywhere. It's also Reich, um, which uh, I'm, I'm going to guess that this is like the Cybertrix and like the Lamella, and it has some odd disassembly process where you actually have to, like, move something, some part of this you push or pull or release. What is this? So, some part of this. I, I'm going to guess the frame and the backspace are sort of unsheathed from each other. I just have absolutely no idea how. Um, and that'll be, uh, you know, that'll be in the review. That's <laughs> that's why I separate both the unboxing and the review. Because it, when you pull it out of the box, sometimes there are people who are like, you should know before you unbox it. I, But I don't, sometimes I don't have the, it, it doesn't make sense to plan for that for every single knife because it's not possible. Sometimes they're sending me things that 
there is no information on. Sometimes I'm like almost the first person in the world to get it, right? Um, and sometimes I don't even know, <laughs> right? So uh, it's 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 not fun for me to do research on something completely and totally and then open it and already know everything about it. Sometimes it's just fun to experience the thing initially um, and just share that with everybody and then learn about it and then do a full review. Um, so basically what I'm saying is shut, shut up. Run your own channel. <laughs> <laughs> this is how I do this one. But, uh, yeah, I just want to take a look because I know there are people who are curious about all of the um, little things. It really seems like, yeah, so if I push this, it does sink in a little bit. You know, you just have to be a little bit more careful because this is yeah, a folding bladed object. Really strange that they decided to do a tip down only design. Now, uh, to comment on that, right? Because I'm sure people are like, why do people crap all over tip down so often? People who carry tip down will tell you this. I carry tip down because it's already in position. Right? When I'm pulling the knife out of my pocket, the knife's already in position to flip. To this day, I cannot understand what part of their brain makes them think that the knife is already in position to flip. It isn't. When you pull the knife from your pocket, <laughs> There's a couple of reasons here I'm gonna come after tip down, so just buckle up. When you pull the knife from your pocket, this is not the optimal position to deploy the knife, okay? I'm gonna put this in my pocket and, and, and pull it just to make sure that I absolutely 100% know what I'm talking about. This pocket clip is not gonna allow you to, yeah. When you pull this knife from your pocket, best case scenario, this is the position that you're in. I am not ready to flip this knife. I do not, anybody who says, that you're already in some sort of tactical, optimal position to flip the knife is wrong and delusional. <laughs> this is not, you're not ready. You have to turn the knife to flip it, period. Number two, the other reason that people don't like tip down uh, is in the event that you are carrying a knife with a protruding flipper tab, it's not, the, it's not a big deal with this knife. This knife is actually totally safe to carry tip down uh, because the flipper tab is not really protruding enough for it to cause a problem. Normally, a normal person carries their pocket knife up against the back seam of their pocket, right? If we pocket right here, back seam, right? So more, more towards your outer leg than in towards your stomach, right? That's normally where you carry a knife. Some people like to clip it towards the front of their pocket, which is weird. Uh, some people uh, do that thing where they take the pocket knife and they put the pocket clip inside of their pocket and put the knife on the outside. That's weird. If you didn't know, that's a weird thing to do. Don't do that. That's not how the knife is designed. No knife is designed to be like that. It's just a weird way to carry your knife. But anyways, normal way, up against the seam, right? Left-handed or right-handed. On a tip-down knife with a flipper tab, that flipper tab is pressed up against the back seam of your pocket. So. There is technically a small chance that if you run into something, that flipper tab gets depressed and the knife deploys like this in your pocket, which is obviously not good. On a knife that is set up for tip up, right hand, right, or left hand, if it's left, it's on the other side. Put this thing all the way in your pocket, put the blade up against that back seam, there's absolutely no way the thing comes out. Furthermore, when you pull this knife, out, your, you, your hand without adjusting it or flipping the knife around is actually already in position to deploy the knife. Tip down people, can you please explain the delusion? <laughs> please explain your reasoning when you say, because it's not just one or two, I've had hundreds of, you know, tip down people tell me like, ah, you know, the, I, I carry it that way because the knife's just already ready to go. Right? It's already, I'm already in the right position. No, you have to maneuver this knife at least one full position before you're ready to flip it. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. I can't wait to, I can't wait to read all of the, the comments down there. Okay. So this is, um, this is definitely a weird one. I guess it's called the rebel ship. Um, I will learn everything about this and then review it. Um, very cool. Thanks so much to Reich for sending it in. Like I said uh, earlier, I'll link any and all information down in the uh, description. Please 
Make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.